Libertas, or the Statue of Liberty Enlightening the World. John Hammond here, folks. I cut the track in 1985 at John Grossbard's Planet Sound Studios with Stephen Ferroni on drums, and we didn't hear it until just now on the Ken Burns documentary, uh, the centennial um, piece about the Statue of Liberty documentary, and Phoebe Snow, we backed her up. The name of the tune is Lady in the Harbor and has the All City Choir. It's a big time production and it's about 37 minutes into the movie. So I'm going to now play it and we're going to get some of the audio and it doesn't come on right away. So I've got to watch a little bit of the movie now. Okay, here we go. The earliest image I have of the Statue of Liberty is in the Romanian cartoons in our communist newspaper, which always portrayed her with not a torch in the hand, but either um, a, 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 a bloody knife uh, with, a, with North Korea written on it or, or, or aimed at the Soviet Union or, you know, your basic propagandistic political cartoon. And from that point to the commercial that has the Statue of Liberty with her hand raised saying, I'm sure, I'm sure, everything is all right, I have enough deodorant. There is an entire range, you know, that goes from uh, the polemic against that image to the trivialization of it that actually includes a great range of emotion, including a genuine one. Yes, the Statue of Liberty. 